uh, Jen from wildhorsestudio.art and I am doing a live art show. So uh, in case you've never met me before, um, I have been doing art for quite a long time, over 25 years. And uh, I have just in the last 10 years really been into it full time. I do mostly animal art, though I like to paint just about anything. Uh, and I also do a lot of pet portraits. But today what we're gonna do is uh, take about 25, 30 minutes. I'm gonna go through some of my art that I need to clear out of my studio to make room for new stuff. And uh, so just sit back, relax, and I'll go through it, show you uh, all the pricing and discounts. Um, everything's 50% or more. So maybe you'll find something you like for your room at the house or in the office. And um, I have a page in my link in my bio for uh, the Instagram. Sorry, my cat jumped up. I thought I was gonna knock over my camera. Um, Anyways, um, I've got uh, in the link in the bio for my Instagram, you can just click that and go right into a page. It'll show you everything I'm gonna be showing you and the, the discounts and you can buy it right out of there. Um, and on Facebook, uh, hopefully something's scrolling uh, along the bottom uh, that's showing you uh, where to go. If not, let me know and I will make it happen. Um, so I'm gonna get started and excuse my cat. Uh, this is my assistant, Solly. And I need to get him down. Oh, come on down, so good boy. All right, sorry about that. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers, and let's get going. Hi, all. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Pam. Hi, Melinda. All right, so this is the uh, print that I've got. Uh, it's an 8x10 and it's $35 and the name of the print, uh, the painting is free. I sold the painting, it was a huge one. Um, and, uh, and so I've got this print and you can get it on my website in any kind of print form from a really pretty glossy print to just a fine art paper like this. So you'll see that on that page uh, in my link and it's $35. Okay, then I've got this little guy here. Butters, Butters is $85, it's an eight by eight, and it's a uh, fine paper on a foam mount. So it's pretty cool, and it hangs really slender up against your wall. And that is Butters. Oops, <laughs> show it to you on Facebook too. I've got Facebook going, so there you go. That's Butters. All right, then I have free and a glossy metal print and free is uh one of my favorite paintings and uh, one of my most popular this is an 8x10 glossy metal it's really shiny and pretty it's very slender and you hang it up in the back like that okay and then go to this is another glossy metal Oh, did I say how much that was? It's an eight by 10 and it's 125 for wild. The last one I showed you. This one here is a buffalo called King of the Road. I will show both places, but you can see the road in his eye and that's why I called it King of the Road. And it is a uh, eight by 10 metal print. It's glossy and it's 125 also. Okay. And the next one, these two little ostrich babies uh, I painted a while back. Babe and Tiny, and they're 150 each. I can't tell if you guys can see it on Instagram like this completely because some of your writing gets in my way. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom one, but let me know if you can't when I raise them up and they can't see it on, uh, on my Facebook. <laughs> Anyways, they're 150 each. And if you want them as a pair, we can always make a deal on that. So if you guys have any questions or uh, uh, you, know, want, you see something but you want a different color for your decor or anything like that, just let me know because I can always create you anything that you might want. And don't forget your drink. Okay, so the next one is, a, this is a horse's nose I painted. I'm kind of a horse freak, so I 
painted a, a lot of horses over the time. And it's a 10 by 10. And uh, it was 300 and it's 145. All right, and then we'll go on to the next one. This is Sadie, it's a 10 by 10 again. And it is, uh, it, it was 300 and it's 145. And it's a 10 by 10. All of my canvases are thick sided and they're ready to hang in the back and signed both back and front. You can frame them if you want, but you don't need to. Doesn't she have beautiful eyes? Sadie was a gray cat that was a friend of mine and she had these beautiful silver blue eyes. And she always wanted a treat. All right, then this one is near and dear to me. This is called Home. It's an 11 by 14 um, and it is a white wolf with blue eyes. And when my dad passed away, I had dreams of a white wolf that I was leaning up against and I could feel his fur on my face and I just had to paint him and get him on canvas. I sold the, I did two right in a row. I did this one and, and another one called um, um, Coming Home. This one's called Home. And the Howling Wolf one you can get as a print on my site. Um, but the, uh, but the uh, yeah, the, the, ugh, <laughs> the Howling one uh, got sold pretty much right away. But this one is still available and it is 225 down from 400. And this one is called Betty. And uh, Betty is an old workhorse that I knew at one of the barns where I had my horses. She was rideable, but she was a big old thing and just as friendly as can be. And she had all those long whiskers, so I enjoyed painting her. And she is 12, uh, 12 by 16 canvas. She was regularly 500 down to 195. Okay. And I don't know if anybody's in love with beagles, but one of my friends used to own one, and I had this picture of them and painted it a little while back. Again, this is another 12 by 16, and it was 400 down to 225. There you go. don't oh this I just recently painted this is Wiley Wiley is an 8 by 24 kind of a long slender so if you have a space in your house that you need just a little area filled this is a good kind of canvas for that and he was regularly 400 and he's down to 225 And then this is a little Boston pup. My mom had Bostons and my sister, and so I just uh, made a fun painting. It has a few kind uh, words on it, like love and kindness, and uh, I just had fun doing a loose style like this. And uh, instead of my normal <laughs> uh, photorealism style, it was just a nice break. And I thought uh, I thought he looked pretty cute. He looked good, cute in the kid's bedroom or something. And it's uh, normally 400 down to 175, and it's a 12 by 16 also. All right. And this is a German Shepherd, and again, in that same kind of whimsical style that I do. And uh, I just love this breed, so I enjoy painting this too. And this guy is a 12 by 16, regularly 400, 175 too. Again, you guys can go uh, on my uh, link uh, that you'll see scrolling along the bottom and, uh, and just go in there and you'll see them all listed and you can buy right there. There's a payment plan or if you just want to look around, um, I'll be doing this sale will be on for uh, the next 24 hours. This is a tabby cat again in the fun color with a butterfly. It's a 12 by 12 and it was regularly 400 down to 175. By the way, free shipping in the US and Canada. This little guy I just did, a little 
cat. I was thinking calico at the time, and it's just looking down, just whimsical, uh, loose painting. And this one is a 12 by 12. It was regularly 345 down to 150. Okay, and we're gonna get into some bigger stuff. Uh, this little guy here, this is like the, this is Butters, and I showed you the little uh, one that I had uh, at the very beginning of Butters. This is like the fifth Butters that I've done. I've sold, uh, no, this is the sixth actually. I did, uh, I did sell five other originals. None of them really look the same, uh, but it all was Butters. Butters was a cow I knew at a barn and he thought he was the watchdog and he was just adorable. This was normally 500, it's down to 225 and it's a 20 by 20. And there's my cat again. Say hi, Saul. <laughs> oh dear. All right, Saul, come on. Okay. And then let's see what else do we have. This, here you could tell Saul. So are you guys. Okay, this is Cecil. And this is a, let me grab the note on the back here. This guy is, I'm sure you guys can see it. Everybody can see it okay? Um, this is a 24 by 30, regularly 700 down to 345. And then, this is major. I love elephants, I love painting them. I love all their little creases and crackly, leathery <laughs> skin is fun to paint. It's a 24 by 30, it was regularly 800, it's down to 325. Show you a close up of that. I think we're doing this because I, I can't hear anybody's comments. I'm trying to see what you guys are saying. I'm waving at somebody there. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I hope you all have a drink and you're enjoying watching me show you my art. I'm drinking gin and uh, water with a lime. That's my thing. My fancy pool uh, glass that a friend gave me. All right, so the next one, this is Ben, Benny. Benny is a 20 by 20 and it's a Highland cow. My sister went on a trip to England and took some wonderful pictures for me and and this is one of the paintings from that. And it was a uh, regular 650 and it's down to 325. And you guys, if for any reason you don't wanna spend that kind of cash right now, you can always go on my website and buy any of these things uh, in merchandise like cups and t-shirts and pretty trays and stuff or in any kind of a print form uh, if you can't afford an original right now. And this is King, uh, King of the Road, uh, and it was regularly 800 and it's now 325. Oh yeah, and King of the Road was the one I told you about his eye. I'm showing it to you on Instagram first and then I'll bring it down to you on Facebook. You can see it better in the original. Okay. See, I have a few more to go here, you guys. Okay, Piper, I just did recently. It's part of my uh, horse collection I'm working on. It's a spotted horse, and it's a 20 by 20, 500 originally, and it's down to 245. Hi, Shauna. Oh. And then this is my painting. I just call this stallion. I went with a friend when she was getting her mare uh, together with a stallion and it was an amazing experience to watch. Uh, and this is a 16 by 20. It was uh, regular 600 down to 225. And I just wanted to capture the strength of a stallion. They're quite amazing. All right. This is a friend of mine's long-haired German Shepherd. This is Jake. 
I did a pet portrait for her and then I painted him again because I just uh, just love this breed. And he is regularly 600 down to 295. And I believe the size of this canvas is a 18 by 20. Might be a 16 by 20, I'm not sure. I don't have art. But it will tell you in the other, in my link page, what it is. Now I went to the zoo and I saw two zebras and they were facing me, really adorable, one scratching the other's back. And I went to take a picture and they both turned their butts to me. So this is excuse me. And he is $600, he was 600, he's down to 245 and it's a 20 by 20 canvas. And then this one is the other one that turned its butt to me. Same price, same size. And there he is. And then I just recently did this one. Uh, I did a, I did a, a naming contest and has so many wonderful names, but I ended up choosing Wilson. I know some of you are probably thinking Wilson, like that's not very majestic. I don't know, for some reason it just, <laughs> it just worked, but uh, I actually know what happened was I couldn't pick. So I wrote them all down and I just closed my eyes and pointed and it ended up on Wilson. So that's, that's what his name is. But if you purchase him, you can name him anything you want. Um, it was regularly 800 down to 325 and it's a 20 by 20. See, what else do I have? I'm almost coming to an end here. This one, <clears throat> this is Sophia. And Sophia is uh, 380 down from 1,000. I know I'm really marking her down and she's like one of my favorites. I hate to part with her. Um, I saw her at a zoo in San Diego and uh, I took a picture of her. I thought she was so pensive looking off in the distance and. I really enjoy doing all her little hairs and her whiskers and stuff. And that's my favorite thing with the eyes and the wrinkles. And she was a joy to paint. Took a while and uh, it's a pretty big painting. I think I told you it's a, this is a 24 by 36. All right, I'm sure somebody wants an ape in, up on their wall somewhere, don't they? Now this one is another 24 by 36. And this is a, another whimsical one. What happened was in, when COVID happened, I got it right at the beginning when they didn't know much of all the, you know, the symptoms and stuff. And I had it mild, but I lost my taste of smell and, and, uh, and taste, whatever. But um, I also kind of got foggy, I guess, and I didn't realize that I had a lot of anxiety. I couldn't paint, like I, it felt like I didn't know how to paint. I was freaking out, I had pet portraits to do. and. I'm calling my customers saying you're gonna have to wait and <laughs> it was crazy. And so this is one of the paintings that I just got a drink and put up the music and just went for it and painted like I don't normally paint. And that's where my whimsical came from is just using funky colors and not caring and just trying to loosen my brain up a little bit and get creative again. And I feel fine now, but for months there it was pretty scary. I don't know if any of you've gone through that, but leave it in the comments if you have. I'd love to hear about your story too. All right, and then this is one of my most popular pieces. I sold it many prints of this, and this is uh, Wild, and it's a 24 by 36. And uh, it is going for 380 down from 800. And this is the first one I did when I was going through my foggy, crazy COVID feelings. I, uh, I just went crazy with the colors and some of this is painted with uh, paper towel and <laughs> just smudging everywhere and then some detail with brushes and, and uh, yeah, it was definitely healing for me. All right, and then there's just a few more. I know there's a lot, right? Glad you're sticking with me. I think I need a drink. Beth Bishop, thank you. All right. And this is one that everybody seems to love when I go to the art shows. And again, this uh, Gus was something, someone that I met at the zoo. 
and he uh, was just joking around and throwing grass around and making funny faces at us and just having a great old time and I took pictures and I just added the sunflower in for, for the heck of it but he was just really cute and fun to paint. That's Gus and he is another narrow one. He's 16 by 36, he was regularly 600 and he's down to 245. Two more to go. Let's see. So this one, put this one up. And this one is called After Dark, and it was a friend of mine uh, at a barn who was going through a hard time and came out on the other end pretty good, but she had bought this horse and called him After Dark. Uh, saying that she came out of the dark. They showed together and did really well and had a great relationship. It was a wonderful horse and I had taken a picture of him just uh, where he was relaxing in the pasture and so I painted him. Now, oh, and he is, <laughs> he is an 18 by 24 and he was 600 down to 295. Are you guys on uh, Facebook, are you seeing uh, anything scrolling around the bottom so you know where to go to the landing page to see all of these and the pricing and everything? Let me know if you are or not because I think I hit the right button, but I'm not sure. And then I have one more. This is Ember. This is another horse I knew at the barn and I just made it into a silhouette. And it is a 20 by 24. It was regularly 750 down to 325. Okay, well guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for, for dropping in and spending some time with me. If you have any questions or uh, you know anything you wanna talk about or if you need to see a painting again and you wanna FaceTime or do anything like that, just uh, DM me, let me know, and I'd be glad to uh, I'd be glad to answer any of your questions and we'll do this again soon. And I'm gonna get back to creating a bunch of new paintings. So have a great evening and I'll see you later. Thanks.